Hi there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is a BTEC Applied Science Unit 1 video and it focuses on how the ionic radius and the ionic charge affect the strength of the ionic bond. If you haven't seen my previous videos on ions, I suggest you go away and watch that first and you'll find a link in the description below. But first, if I ask that you'll please make sure you like and subscribe to this channel so we can get them out to as many people as possible. Thank you. Let's try and be logical about this then. What is an ionic bond? So we saw previously in the previous video that an ionic bond is the electrostatic attraction between oppositely charged ions. They attract each other. The stronger that attraction, the stronger the bond. And we can define or talk about the attractiveness using something called charge density. So let's get into this. Charge density then. Now, there are two factors that are going to affect the charge density. These two factors are the ionic charge and the ionic radius. Let's start with ionic charge then. Now, we've seen previously that we can use the periodic table to predict charge, but group one being plus one, group two metals being plus two cations, group three being plus three, a one plus, versus a two plus. Now, a two plus is going to be more attractive. It's got a stronger ionic charge. It's gonna be more attractive to negative ions. And logically then, a three plus is even more attractive than a two plus. So it would form stronger ionic bonds. So what about group seven then that form minus one versus group six? That will form minus two well just as we saw with the cations the bigger the charge the more attractive so that two minus is far more attractive than the one minus so i told you there were two factors we've looked at ionic charge bigger charge more attractive let's have a look next at the ionic radius so let's look at the ionic radius. Here I have a cation in the middle and two anions either side. At this moment in time, those anions are both the same radius and the same charge. So they would have the same level of attractiveness. However, if I decrease a radius or increase a radius, the charge density will change. And it's actually as the radius gets smaller, the charge density increases. So as that radius now on the right hand side is bigger, it still has the same charge as the one on the left. However, this charge is more spread out, is a bigger volume. That means it's less dense and less attractive. The one on the left is minus one still, but this charge is more concentrated. It's in a smaller volume. The charge is more dense, meaning it's more attractive. So the one minus ion on the left is more attractive than the one minus on the right because it has a smaller radius and the same charge. Just as we could use the periodic table to predict the charge, we can also use the periodic table to predict the radius. So as you go down the group, the radius increases because there's more shells. So for example, fluoride is F minus, Chloride is also minus one, but chloride will have a bigger radius. So that means that fluoride has a bigger charge density because it's smaller with the same charge. So fluoride is more attractive than chloride and will form stronger ionic bonds. Group one, lithium and sodium both in group one, both plus one. However, sodium is below lithium in the periodic table. It's going to have a bigger radius the charge is more spread out, so it's less dense. Lithium has a bigger charge density and would be more attractive and form stronger ionic bonds. What about group two? Magnesium versus calcium. Again, the exact same trend. This time though, they are both plus two, but calcium is below magnesium. Calcium has a bigger radius, which means it will have a smaller charge density, be less attractive. The opposite is true for magnesium smaller radius, bigger charge density, 
stronger bonds for magnesium versus calcium. Summary then. The strength of the ionic bond is measured by the electrostatic force or attraction between two oppositely charged ions. The bigger the ionic charge, the stronger the attraction, the stronger the bond. So what we're seeing here is a 2 plus is more attractive than a 1 plus and would form stronger ionic bonds. As is, a 2 minus is stronger than a 1 minus will form stronger ionic bonds. And finally, the smaller the radius, the stronger the attraction and the stronger the ionic bond. That's because a smaller radius meant a greater charge density and a stronger attraction to oppositely charged ions, stronger ionic bond. Thanks for watching. Please look out for the next video which looks at dot and cross diagrams for ionic compounds. You'll find a link in the description below.